Hey guys, this is Charles from 3D Printer OS, and today I'm going to show you how to use 3D Printer OS to print to your BQ Woodbox printer. So, the first thing I'm going to do is now that I'm at my Choose File screen, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads here. I'm going to grab my AquaDuck file, and I'm just going to drag and drop it right into the upload screen. Once the file is uploaded, it's going to prompt me to go to my files. Here, I'll go ahead and click go to my files and the aqueduct should be right at the top which it is the first thing I like to do is I like to see how the file looks in the print bed so I'm gonna to go to my 3d viewer and I'm gonna select uh, my actual BQ wit box down here at the bottom and uh, you can see here that the file is actually located way off the print bed so that's not gonna work um, so the first thing I'm gonna do now after that is I'm gonna to go to my magic fix app I'm going to select my wit box and I'm just going to go ahead and select fix. And the Magic Fix app will actually put the file right onto the bed and uh, make sure everything looks good. So I'll close this and uh, now I'm going to go to my most updated fixed file. I'm going to go back to my 3D viewer and take a look now, see what it looks like. Looks great, looks perfect right on the print bed, right where I want it to be file is a little bit big so the first now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and, and shrink the file down I don't need my duck to be quite so big so I'm going to make it about 50 percent here I like the orientation I'm going to go ahead and select save we'll see its process here in a second now that that's complete I'm going to go back to my 3d viewer make sure it looks about the right size looks good to me it's on the build platform in the right spot everything looks good it's a pretty cool looking duck awesome so now that I got the right size it's on the bed the next thing I'm gonna do is slice the file and get it ready for printing so you can see here well we gotta switch to make sure I'm slicing for the BQ wit box um, infills at 10 percent that looks good I like that I'm going to go probably to my advanced tab and uh, see if there's any other settings I want to do here. No supports. I don't need it for this file. Don't need any uh, adhesion for the platform. Print speed's a little bit slow. I'm going to speed that up to about 70. Uh, 30 millimeters per second is really, really slow. I don't really need that for this file. Now I'm just going to go ahead and press start. The file will slice. You can see my G code is ready to print. Now I'm just going to press print here. I see I have a BQ whip box available. I'm going to press print to that. And this printer is actually located in Estonia. A friend of mine shared it to me. And uh, just going to double check his live view, make sure he doesn't have anything on the print bed waiting. I can see it's clear. Everything looks great. And uh, now all we're going to do is wait for the extruder to heat up and we should be able to see this get going in just a minute. I can see we're heating up so everything looks good. I'm going to go back to my live view. And there she goes. Print has begun. And that's all there is to it, guys. If you have any questions or concerns, you could check out our forum via 3dprinteros.com or email us directly at info at 3dprinteros.com. And as always, happy printing.